Hello Model Railroad fans. I would like to welcome you to Vintage Road and Rail. Uh, the month of October has now come and gone. Hopefully everyone had a happy and safe uh, Halloween. But now that it's November, I think it's time to take a look at a few of the items that I picked up throughout the uh, this past month of October. Alright, well give me just a second to get set up on the uh, tripod and I will be right back. Alright, so let's uh, kick this October haul off with a few miscellaneous items. First one is going to be a um, keychain that was made for me uh, by my daughter. Uh, she's in a graphics design class of some sort and this is one of the projects she's worked on so she made this for me. So I'm going to uh, hang that at my uh, desk at work, a little push pin or something. Uh, next up, just a simple tube of grease. That way I can just keep the uh, gears and whatnot in my loco locomotives running smoothly. Uh, then we've got a few um, Digitrax items. Up first, we've got this 9-pin um, to 8-pin harness. And then we've got a basic DCC decoder uh, with 9-pin harness with open leads, so you'll need to solder this in. And this is the DH-126D. And I've used several, a couple of those before. They're really easy to use. Uh, but this one's new to me. I've never used one of these before. It's a uh, SDH-166D Sound FX decoder. So it's got the speaker and everything built into it. Uh, and it was really economical as far as cost is concerned. I, I think this is the 8-bit one, but I'm not 100% sure. Because um, I think the 16-bit one would be about $25 higher than what this was. But anyway, uh, that's going to be an upcoming project. I'm going to stick that in one of the locomotives and test it out and see how it uh, sounds. Alright, so next up we've got a few lifelike items. Excuse me. So I've got this coal load. And a little bit later in the video you'll see uh, why I picked this up. And then we've got this... Let Freedom Ring and Home of the Brave boxcar, which at first I thought was in really good shape, and on the surface it does until I flipped it over and saw that it's missing one of these stirrups. And that's probably to me the most frustrating thing about picking up um, loose boxcars or, well, any, any train car is missing these uh, stirrups. Uh, picked this up at a local hobby shop and I saw it and I was, ooh, I gotta get that and I didn't even notice. Alright, but then we've got another lifelike boxcar uh, and this one does have all the stirrups. Uh, it's considered new old stock. It's uh, from Sea to Shining Sea. So it's a very nice patriotic boxcar there. And then we've got another patriotic car, but this is going to be a reefer and it's United We Stand. So that's looking pretty good. Great to add those to my collection. Anybody that's watched my videos knows I'm a sucker for Spirit of 76 stuff or anything patriotic, really. So that's going to fit in nicely with, uh, with my collection. All right, well, up next, we've got a couple of AccuRail kits. So we got this one here. And this is going to be the Gateway 2001 NMRA National Convention. Uh, this was in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm not 100% sure if this has been featured in a previous haul or not. If so, I apologize. But uh, I really like that car. I lived in St. Louis for about 10 years. All right, then we have another AccuRail kit. Found this at my local hobby shop. And it's just a 40-foot reefer, and it's the National Car Company. Then I've got a couple of more kits. These are both going to be reefers, and you're going to hear me say reefer a lot in this video because I have a lot of these 40-foot um, uh, reefers for a project I'm working on, uh, these refrigerator cars. So this is a company I've never heard of. Uh, C and B T shops. I stumbled on these. What, what did I pay for them? I, I can't remember what I what I paid for these. 
um, at my local hobby shop. They had a handful of them, so I picked up the two I liked the most. So let's uh, pop the top and take a look. It's got a lot of detail parts and everything and alternate parts. Uh, there's some of the paperwork. All right. And, but this is going to be El Capitan uh, Coach Streamliner West. So I'm interested to um, put that together and see what I think of it. And then the other one is going to be very similar. I think it's another Santa Fe one. Yep. And I've got it upside down. So it just says uh, ship and travel Santa Fe all the way. So again, looking forward to uh, giving these a you know giving these a go as far as putting them together. Uh, if you've put one of these together, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Again, like I said, I've just I'd never heard of it, um, but I am fairly new to the hobby, so don't let that surprise you. All right, but let's move on. I've got um, three Walther's kits here. These are some of their old school ones. And this is going to be a Western Fruit Express a refrigerated car, reefer. All right. And then we've got this blue ribbon beer reefer. So you may be wondering what's going to, with all the reefers that I'm opening up because there's a whole bunch more to come. I'm actually looking to build a reefer train to run down at the club. Just for the fun of it. All 40, 39, 40, and 41 foot reefers. Since they look so much alike, you really won't notice the difference. All right. And we got one more Walther's kit here. If I can, if I can get it open. And it is American refrigerator transit company it's a pretty good looking kit all right now we're going to move on to a handful of train miniature uh, kits I've actually got quite a few of these and they're going to all be refrigerator cars except for one so we'll start with the odd duck out and it's this 40 foot box car Quaker Oats And then we've got this Baby Ruth refrigerator car. And we've got this uh, Mini City 74 NMRA car. Then we got this West Cotton Winks. Then we got uh, Grand Union uh, Food Markets. And we got this, I believe that's, is that Kreys? K R E Y S? Uh, ham and Bacon. And let me scoot some of these in just a little bit so I can get a better hold of them. All right, then we got this. Uh, Good luck, margarine car. And we got this uh, Sioux City dressed beef refrigerator car. Then we've got this uh, Silvergate Convention 1974 in San Diego. And the last of these train miniature cars is going to be this, uh, I guess that's pronounced Raths, R-A-T-H-S, Black Hawk Ham from the Land of Corn. All right, so that's going to wrap up all the uh, kits. So let me just kind of scoot some of this stuff out of the way, and then we're going to move on over to um, some Tyco items. All right, first thing we've got, is this Dairyman's 40-foot reefer car. Uh, this one's an older one. 
it's got actually a metal bottom and it's got metal trucks and it has a different uh, different uh, coupler pocket than what you would normally see so that's and also too um, I've got another one of these let me just grab it real quick I've got it right here this is what you would normally see uh, now I've modified this one uh, but it's plastic and this is filled in here whereas it's only filled in right here on this other one but you see how it has this blue lettering uh, this one appears to have a black lettering so it's a little bit different so just based on that alone I had to pick it up all right now we've got a, the rest of the items are in the box Oh, almost missed this one this is a handrail kit for um, Alco 430 it'll also work for a 235 and a 244 but it's slated to go on a, uh, a Silver Streak locomotive, which is going to be an Alco 430. All right, so we got a bunch of refrigerator cars. So we got this Purina car, just in the regular blue. I probably already have a half a dozen of those, but I just couldn't stand to leave it there at the hobby shop. Then we got this Gerber's Strain Vegetables car. which I think I've probably got another one of those. Then I got uh, two of these, and these are Morel's Pride uh, refrigerator cars. There's the first one, and here's the second one. One of the things I like about getting these things in the box is I love seeing the old price tags on there. This, uh, Whenever this come out, it's a red box, so I'm guessing the 60s, it was like 88 cents. I can't imagine paying 88 cents for any car today. In fact, I was at the hobby shop the other day and I saw them for, you know, regular plain old 50 foot box cars, $54, my God. All right, so moving on, we've got this Oscar Mayer car. And then we've got the baby Ruth. Swift, and then we got uh, cons, and then finally we have got an Alco C430 diesel with matching caboose. Now I have done a video on this, and I'll put a card up in the corner. Um, so my last, it was actually my last video, I think. Uh, with this uh, locomotive and caboose and those last four uh, cars that we just looked at, uh, those Tyco cars. All right, up next I've got a few train sets uh, we can take a look at. Uh, but these first two aren't really that complicated, but one's kind of wrapped up in bubble wrap, so that'll give me a few seconds to take care of that. All right, but this first one is going to be Lifelikes Salute to America train set and here's the salute to America box car and here is the I guess was that a cattle car and then we've got a tank car which looks like someone stole it from a barber shop and the final car is a gondola and this is why I wanted that coal load and then lastly we have the caboose at some point I'll do a full video on this set and test it out and everything but just wanted to show it here because it may be a bit before I get to it alright so the set I was going to pull out that I had mentioned was in bubble wrap I decided to skip that because if not my next video, the one right after that, uh, I actually have some footage of that uh, showing that uh, train set. So we'll skip on that one and you'll see it um, probably inside of the next few days. All right, but here we've got a Model Power Union 76 train set. And it is complete. It's got the instructions. You can see the power pack and the track. And there's your caboose and we've got a flat car with trailer a signal stand 
our model power locomotive and our uh, Union 76 tank car. So the next train set we've got here is going to be a Bachman Special Forces train set and you can see it right here. The box is a, a bit beat up but it's complete and I had pulled everything out to inspect it make sure everything looked good. So here is our locomotive. We got our spotlight car. We got our missile car. And then we've got just a regular box car. And then finally we have a caboose. All right, so the last item for my October haul is going to be this uh, Lifelike IGA Express train set. And as you can see by the size of these boxes, I couldn't really put all that on my table, so I had it underneath there. Um, and so <laughs> made it a little bit more difficult to go through a haul video like I would normally do, so I apologize for the convoluted nature of it. Uh, but this is complete, and it comes with a power lock track, a pier set, some signs, and obviously the power supply. And so we have a Nestle caboose, a craft tank car, and we've got an intermodal car for General Electric and Gillette. And we've got a Coca-Cola, I believe that's going to be a reefer. And then we've got an open hopper that has Caress and Dove on it. And finally we have our locomotive that says IGA, what does that say, Across America. That is my uh, October haul. So again, I apologize for kind of the convoluted nature for the way I put this video together. Uh, hopefully it's not too irritating and then you enjoyed uh, seeing some of the items I've picked up. Uh, but anyway, if you did like this video, um, hit that like button down below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted as to when I put up another video. Alright, well that concludes this video. And thank you very much for joining me. And happy model railroading. Take care now.